Hi there, welcome back to Utopia Cube Resurrection. Oh yeah. I'm over here? No, I'm over here. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, we got some stuff set up in the last episode. I'm alone on the server, which is very u unusual. Um, I think a lot of people are not happy with the 1.0.0 one update and are waiting until after the derpiness finishes before coming back uh, to play so hopefully hopefully uh, we're gonna start getting some stuff going and uh, hopefully the new updates gonna come soon but uh, before that happens I have been working up an idea for proper power and by proper power, I mean not cheaty power, because the cheaty power is going to go probably in the next update. So it's probably not good to use cheaty power. We need to get ourselves a proper source of power. Um, and I have an idea for it, and I've been kind of gathering the resources of what I need and trying to figure out the best way of getting the resources. And um, it's kind of a two-fold plan, and uh, I need to do two things for it. So we're going to get started on the first one here. And it is a harvester from Mine Factory Reloaded. Uh, 240 ORF per work. No problemo. So, um, let's head on over to the other island. Uh, I haven't built a bridge yet. It's a very long way. So I probably grab, borrow a builder's wand or something. Uh, or maybe I get someone else to build it or something like that. Uh, we might even move into the dimension, you know? Um, so, yeah. Uh, I might want to just think of a better place to put this. So, I want this to be a 9x9 nine nine area. And I've got some of this cool brown colored cobblestone, which I want to use. Um, let's just grab some torches. So we can start marking out. Let's probably start it here. And I think it's that one. Although I think I just miscounted. Yeah, I did. Uh, there. Um, yeah, I think that should probably go see. Actually, we'll probably move it right over here in case. You know what, actually we'll leave it here, so we can expand it if we want, and we'll actually bring it right over here. Actually the bridge is going to come in here, here. So if we have it here, I'll move it this way, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Is that it? Oh, we can move it. Two more. No, one more. Here. Okay, so this is where we're gonna put it. Uh, so. It's gonna go right here. Perfect. So, um, what I wanna do now is just dig up all the stuff here. So that we can get just soil down here um, and start planting some stuff. So let me just dig up all this crap off camera. Uh, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, right, back in a sec. Okay, so um, I have my little brown stone here, kind of cordoning it off and stopping it from going all madness. So um, let's kind of split this up. We need a certain amount of plants, uh, of which I have some of them here. Um, so we want nether wart, we want brown mushrooms, we want sugar cane. For now. Uh, we might need other ones. So we're gonna use the IC2 crops. Um, mainly because that way we can uh, harvest mushrooms with these, which is cool. Uh, let's grab this upgrade I made as well. This should make it the right size. Um, oh, we don't want to do that. There we go. So let's uh, put 
put down some nether wart. I think we might need... Oh, no. No, that's it. I thought we might need soul sand. I haven't actually used it yet. But, uh... This should do it there. And it's hydrated here. So, we have three crops at the moment. So, I think I might just plant 9x9 nine nine of them anyway here. For now. Uh, because I, I don't have enough, really, to do any more. Uh, let's put down some sugar. There we go. Um, we actually may need twice the amount of sugar than we need of everything else, but we'll see. Uh, let's just... Put some more down. And the brown mushrooms should go down as well. They are, yeah, they're very, very small though. You can barely see them. Um, I don't... What, what's going... I can barely see these. Are they going in? I can't really see this. Why is it not going in? Oh, you know what? These are using more than one. Do I have any more brown mushrooms? I do. Oh, it's planting four each time. No wonder. Crazy. Uh, it does make sense, though. Cool. So, um, let's let those s grow for a bit. Um, I'm not sure if I can bone meal them or not. I don't think I can. But, uh... Let's set up this culinary generator here. Um, you know, we could probably plant some potatoes and let them fall straight into this as well, but I'm not sure how much a raw potato generates. One half of that actually might work. Let's grab some potatoes as well and plant them as well. And uh, I'll be back in a minute once these grow up a bit, and uh, we'll see what happens. So I remember watching one of Lewis's videos, and um, I think he found out that you couldn't actually harvest potatoes with the MF4 harvester because um, potatoes actually have another stage, which is... Uh, oh wow, these things grow super fast. Look how fast the sugarcane's growing. Um, this isn't receiving power though. Is this this happened or before? Let's put it on top. No, we need to attach it with um, a power cable. So I'll grab a power cable as well. But look how fast the sugar cane grows. That is so much faster, and we got loads. Cool. So uh, I'm gonna let this grow a bit more. Uh, I have some carrots over there. Um, we'll put carrots into this thing. I don't think sugar works, no. A mush, uh, no, no. So the only thing that works is carrots in here. So carrots are gonna go into this one. Uh, and let me just grab, I thought I had a power cable on me, but I don't, one second. Okay, so uh, one thing about the version that we're on is that harvesters have actually been nerfed a bit. Um, so they, once they fill up with sludge, they stop working. So I'm gonna put a, um, a fluid void pipe on this to just dump it out because to hell with it, we just need it. So you can see already we've getting we're getting some mushrooms and we're getting some uh, sugar. Um, the nether rack doesn't seem to be growing, and I just want to make sure that it doesn't have to grow on soul sand because that would be silly of me to have done that if it does. No, so you can't put these crop things down on. Uh, soul sand, so they don't. Dirt it is. Um, the carrots, I hope, are going in here. Um, and they might be. Um, I might just plant a couple of more carrots here, uh, just to make sure that it has power. And um, we'll see how much excess it has. So I'm actually heading out now. So um, I'm gonna just let this go for a while and see how it turns out. Um, I don't have enough carrots to actually plant all of those now. 
Oh, it's only doing one carrot. That's weird. Four mushrooms, one carrot. Uh, we may as well do the whole row. So the idea is the carrots are going to keep powering this thing and the other crops will be planted elsewhere, which is cool. Uh, now I don't have enough carrots. There we go. Cool. So the sugarcane is crazy fast. The mushrooms are pretty good. The nether wart is just growing really slowly. Maybe it needs to be dark for those to grow. I'm not really sure. Uh, 53200. Okay. So I'm going to head out now and we'll be back probably in the morning. So guys, I've left this run uh, pretty much for about 8 hours. And you can see what we've got out of this now. So that is brilliant. Uh, that is way more than enough that we'll probably ever need. Um, I'll let that run anyway. It's completely automated right now. I may need another culinary generator or some sort of other generator uh, to power the next part of this. Um, I wonder. Sun is setting. Anyway, right, let me go set up the stuff that I need for the next bit. Uh, it seems that the back row of carrots here turned into completely into weeds, which was weird. I don't know why that happened, but uh, anyway. Right, I'm going to go set up the next bit and I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so I've been looking around the server a bit. Uh, the thing I wanted to do seems like it's been claimed by someone else. So I'm just checking with uh, the other guys on the server to see um, if somebody actually does own what I want. But uh, I came across this Thomecraft great tree and it has spider webs on it. And I'm, you may not know, but if it has spider webs, it has a spawner under it. Uh, so we want to stay away from those spiders because they're going to kill me. Uh, okay. It might be an idea to wait until it's bright out so we don't have all the spiders all over the place. Um, did I say nighttime? I did mean daytime if I said nighttime. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I'll just um, wait a bit until it's daytime and I'll be back in a second. Okay, let's try get in here quickly. Um, we need to take out some of the bottom ones. Ah, oh, stupid. Creeper, go away. And stupid Greg Tech axe can't take out grass. How stupid is that? Oh, let's uh, let this thing blow up here. Do you want to blow up? Come on. Ah, oh, poisoned again. Damn it. I wish it would stop raining. Oh, I could probably take one more hit. Oh yeah, let me just... Oh, it's almost night again. Crap! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fly up and let stuff despawn up back in a sec again. In I go again. Try this again. Where's the spawner? There's the spawner. And grab it. Yes! Awesome! Right, back to base and we will get some building done. So... Next thing is ne next. Next thing is next. Next thing uh, is we want to set up a small room here to put the spawner in, obviously. Um, and we're just going to use some fancy cobblestone. Now we have chisel two, which is cool. So it's uh, for some reason bringing up all these colored ones as well, which is kind of nice. Um, I've been using some of the colored ones, but uh, let's just go with uh, my classic bricks or this stuff here. Um, I also have a bit of dark glass so we can have a look in and keep it dark so that's cool. Um, and let's actually get some bricks for the bottom. Cool. So let's just probably want to dig up the 9x9 nine nine here that we have and uh, start building.
Okay, so I have a small little building here. It's um, only 7x7 seven seven inside. I think that might be a bit small. But uh, I think we're good for that for the moment. So I'm going to just use water streams to kind of get this going. I think it should be fine. Um, but uh, let's put some cursed earth in as well. I, uh, I picked some of this up from Kiki Delivery Service, so it should be good. And the spawner. There we go. So that should be good. And uh, quickly before they... Oh, they can get through one by one, can't they? Whoops. Uh, right, now we need some sort of thing. They go up the side of the walls. Hmm. Right, uh, I probably need some way to turn this off as well. A couple of redstone lamps or something should be fine. Okay, let me go back to the base where we should have the... Um, the harvester recipe up and ready to go right here. Grinder, even. Um, let's just get rid of the dirt and cobblestone on me. Uh, you notice I've got some grass and gonna spread that round. So, we can actually probably put this here. So let's bang this down. I would love to know why these things are not working directly. Ooh, there we go. String and spider IDs. Spider IDs? Spider IDs? What am I talking about? <laughs> so uh, that there, and this thing should be creating mob essence as well. So we want to make a drum for this to store that. And we'll grab some mashed potato. Nice. Cool, so that actually works fine. Uh, we definitely need a drum. And let's... Get some... Barrels as well. Two of them should be fine. And a trash can as well, so we can just... Uh, I might... Yeah, we'll just put these here, actually. And we should have some extra utility pipes. And some lights up here. Uh, so, there we go. Sweet! There we go. Those guys are kind of annoying being up there. I don't think this works. Oh, it is. Uh, I might actually move the roof down one. Because it's they're climbing up there and they might not be able to hit there anyway right so there's the spiders string and spider eyes and uh, let's just brighten up some of this and we've nether wart sugar and mushrooms so those of you around should pretty much know what I'm making now um, it's obviously potions a specific type of potion though so let's just throw off some of this stuff back at the base uh, let this thing run for a while hmm yeah okay back in a second 
Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna have to leave it there for today, I'm afraid. Um, I went to make a glass bottle. And you need to use a actual mold to make a glass bottle. So that's a pain. Uh, we're not doing that. Four steel plates. Eight steel it takes to make one. How much steel do I have? 44. I really don't have enough steel that I can afford to waste on a bottle mold. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to start terraforming this island into grass. Which should be cool. Um, I'm not sure if it spreads over mycelium or not. So we'll have to experiment a bit there. And um, I'm just going to let these farms run. They should be fine to run on them their own. They do have overflow protection and drum. I forgot to make the drum. Let me make the drum quickly before we finish. Cool, so we have a drum now. Uh, so we're saving up the mob essence instead of just wasting it. Um, cool, so that's pretty much what I set out to do today. Well, actually it was completely entirely not what I set up to do today. But uh, the other thing I wanted to do is a no-go at the moment until I figure out if someone is actually using the area that I wanted to use. So guys, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you later.